Can you be autonomous without having an identity? Or does having an identity cut down your options and cramp you too much? Let us turn now to identity, a notion that seems to contradict the characterization of womanly nihilism. To have an identity means precisely that, as a woman, you are not nothing. You have rejected the womanly essence, the eternal feminine, because it enslaves you to men. But you do not stop with rejection. You replace the essence allegedly created by nature and actually created by men with an identity you have created for yourself. Clearly, it is not really an identity if it has no specific content. An identity of creativity or choice in which your main idea is to keep your options open without specifying what is to be created or chosen simply repeats the negativity of rejecting the old essence. So again, if you hear the question, is there anything about the word no that you don't understand? The answer is, to what will you say yes?